This is that guy from Sky News or BBC. I'm not sure. I don't watch that much TV. Uh, he's another one of the... Uh, he keeps the Hollywood image alive with the mainstream media. I, I believe he works for Rupert Murdoch's company Fox, which owns Sky News. Which is a deal for this piece, the reconciliation between the two parties after the Liberal Democrats have... the cabinet office talking again. Could this be the final meeting that clinches a deal after their overnight flirtation with Labour? Are the Liberal Democrats having a reconciliation with the Tories? Talked about uh, new politics, partnership politics, uh, and now is the opportunity to, to, to seize it, to let us seize that moment. <laughs> Well, I say to the place, don't get into a squalid little stitch up with the Labour Party because that won't last for five years. To all those by the burgers! Sooner or later, well, the whole thing will collapse. I'm sorry, we're just being yes, I know, it's a bit like a carnival here. I feel a slight political carnival. No, it's more like a zoo, we're animals. Uh, 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 what I think that happened is that uh, in the interest of the national interest... Propaganda, propaganda, propaganda. Propaganda lies, lies, lies. Uh, Mainstream media circus. So <laughs> and that is the only way... Mainstream media news, keeping the public confused and misinformed for the last 70 years in the big illusion of democracy. That's right, keep pumping out those lies to the British public. Labour, Lib Dem, Conservative, all bought out by the big business and war party. Welcome to the big illusion, welcome to the noble lie that you, the peasants, you the people, actually have a choice about power, money and control. Thank you for believing that illusion, as if the people who truly run this country, the international financiers, would allow puppets like David Cameron or Nick Clegg or David Manchild Miliband to run this country. Thank you, mainstream media news, for reporting the total illusion lies and keeping the people docile and stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, someone's got to say it. <laughs> yeah. So no! Truth so no! Truth so no! Okay, this is Richard Bacon from Five Live for the BBC. Um, he was very polite and nice to us, so... Uh, there you go. Okay, this is Charlie Veach from the Love Police. I am on Sky News. There's Kay Burley. Are we good? Are we on live? Taking photographs of us. Oh, <laughs> she's mad. <laughs> this is a legal disclaimer. We will not be offensive or personal. We are our peace always. No problem. Kay Burley, Great Britain's Glenn Beck. Hello, propaganda pushing Kay Burley. Hey. Hey, who cares about the truth? You're earning a very good salary pushing nice corporate controlled propaganda onto the unassuming and innocent British public. Keep them confused. People here are arguing with me, saying, why am I being personal against Kay Burley? Kay, this is nothing against you. I'm sure you're a lovely woman when you're not acting like some sort of, you know, evil person pushing propaganda. I'm sure you and I would be great friends if we met outside this horrible situation. But it just so happens that I have to do what's right. And what you're doing, Kay, is wrong. You're pushing dangerous propaganda, perpetuating the illusion of freedom. 
You are confusing people who might not be as educated as you or I, Kay. Come on, Kay. Think of them, Kay. Think of all the people. Think of the children in Iraq, Kay. Come on. You shouldn't be pushing this warmongering, big business, profiteering propaganda. Wow, that was a mouthful. Okay, this is the Love Police. My name is Detective Charlie. We have a warrant out for your arrest. You have been convicted of being a propaganda-pushing Murdoch shill. You are feeding lies. You are perpetuating the circus of mainstream media, corporate-controlled mainstream media. You're only doing it for money. You know what we call people that only do things for money. What you're doing is very dangerous, Kay. You should really quit this job and do something whilst you still can. You still have time to save your spirit. You do not need to keep pushing propaganda lies onto the British public. There is no democracy here. We get to elect the puppets. We get to elect middle management. We don't ever get to meet the franchise owner, the international financiers, the Zionists, the bankers. We never get to see them. Okay, why are you not reporting on corporate greed and murder? Why are you not reporting on the big business interests in Iraq and Afghanistan? Oh, sorry, you have to sell the circus, the Rupert Murdoch circus. We understand. Anyway, I know it's difficult with me here on the megaphone, so I apologize for that. But you still are a propaganda-pushing Murdoch shill. John uh, Hemming. Yes. I'm Charlie from the Love Police. Thank you very much for taking the time out to speak to us. John, first of all, um, what party do you represent and uh, why are you in Parliament? Uh, Liberal Democrats. Why am I in Parliament? Because more people voted for me in my seat than anyone else. Okay. Did you swear an allegiance to the Queen when you were made MP? Yes. How do you feel about that? I don't really mind. You don't really mind? But do you think in a democracy it's, it's good to have democratically elected people swearing an allegiance to a, a, a monarchy? Well, it's an, in, it's an interesting question how you develop political structures, and obviously our political structure developed around the concept of monarchy and then dividing the powers of the monarchy into mm -hmm. the three estates of the monarchy. Yeah. Which, okay. okay, our system has failed to a certain extent because the executive has controlled the legislature. Mm -hmm. and I'm hoping that in the future we'll find the yeah. legislature gets more independence. Okay, um, a difficult question, John, perhaps. Why do the Lib Dems, not yourself personally, but why do the Lib Dems as a policy want to maintain the same level of defence spending? Is it formally that the policy? I'm not sure that we actually ring fenced anything. So I'm not sure that we're in the general election campaign we ring fenced okay. any spending at all. One thing I can say that's good: you guys are against the Trident missile system because, as we all know, nuclear weapons not a good thing. But um, if you have one message for all the viewers of the Love Police who do believe that we live in an illusion of democracy, what would it be? I, I, I think that we have a broken democracy that needs broken fixing rather than an illusion of democracy. A broken democracy. Thanks very much, John. I appreciate it. The next government. Well, Kish, my friend, one thing we know for sure, that whoever is elected in or whichever coalition is formed, the big business party will stay in power, as they always have done. And one thing we can guarantee is that big corporate interests, lobbying, warfare, and other corruption will always stay in power. And they will keep building nuclear weapons as well, wouldn't they, Charlie? Yes, nuclear weapons are a great thing. I'm very happy Great Britain has nukes. You never know, when some dictator does something naughty, we shouldn't try and kill him, we should wipe out big entire cities of innocent people! And that's his idea, spreading the three mongers of Iran. Don't worry, sir, heckles will be available in ten minutes' time. We will take your heckles in ten minutes. Please take a ticket, please. You guys are shocking the odds, yeah? Not, not me. You guys are shocking the odds. Okay, you've been very nice. What we're trying to do is to expose the mainstream media circus illusion pushing that they're currently doing right now. We, we fully respect people's rights to vote, of course, as long as they know that they're voting in puppets, middle management. You never get to vote in the franchise owners. You never get to vote in the international financiers that tell all three parties what to do, what to think, how to feel, how to dress, how to lie to the public. Isn't that right to the gentleman in the navy blue suit there? You look like you're as tall as I am. Six foot five, how tall are you? Anyway, um, please can you give us a plug? We are www. Everything you think is true is a lie, and the democracy is wrong, and uh, everything you guys are doing is evil. You're pushing propaganda.co.uk. Thank you. I love it, I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, nothing of this is actually real. 
This is just one dimension in a multi-universe, a multi-dimensional universe of quantum physics and quantum mechanics. In another dimension, we have free and fair dem democratic votes in this country. We are run by real people and not the big business and war party using their corporate shills like Kay Burley to push the propaganda onto your unsuspecting mind. But do not fear, everything is truly okay. This is all an illusion. There is no such thing as death. You will live forever. There is nothing to fear, not even fear itself, not even the powerful, not even the people with guns, not even the corporate controllers with their big television stations. It's all a lie, but I tell you the most glorious thing of all will be when you wake up politically and philosophically from the big illusion. You know in the Soviet Union they did away with the illusion of two parties, here we still have the illusion of two parties and the propaganda using all the world's best psychologists, marketing men, PR, keeps you believing that you have a free vote. Isn't that right, Kay Burley? Is that what you're going to tell the Sky News viewers?